everyone today we are going to study about atmospheric gravity waves atmospheric gravity waves is a vertical wave that is generated when there is an extreme weather event or a sudden disturbance leading to a vertical displacement of stable air atmospheric gravity waves is a wave that moves through a stable layer of the atmosphere where in the upward moving region is the most favorable for the formation of cloud patterns or streaks nasa scientists have tracked gravity waves traveling thousands of miles across our atmosphere in concentric rings large storms can create these waves which grow and spread upwards hundreds of miles above the earth's surface the air's instrument on nasa's aqua satellite detected gravity waves in the troposphere and stratosphere 12 hours before a deadly ef5 tornado in moore oklahoma in 2013 On the instrument's next pass, 11 hours later, it detected even stronger waves. We pull up 250 miles to the ionosphere, where the waves can be observed by GPS satellites. Here, gravity waves are shown in greens and yellows, like ripples in a pond. Understanding the spread of gravity waves improves global weather forecasting and space weather forecasting. Gravity waves are the wave which form as a result of density differences in the atmosphere. Density is related to air pressure, temperature, and humidity. Density is a measure of how much mass is in a unit volume. Sometimes in the atmosphere something happens that upset these layers and you get a waves as a result. Once in a while we can see these waves. What would a gravitational wave feel like? If our bodies were sensitive enough to detect them, we do feel like we were being stretched sideways while being compressed vertically. And in the next instance, we stretched up and down while being compressed horizontally sideways then up and down this back and forth would happen over and over as the gravitational wave passes right through you but this happens on such a minute scale that we can't feel any of it so we have both detectors that can feel it for us that's what the lido detectors do